my connection with Chuck is uh, I grew up with David. I lived a block away from where they grew up on the south side of Bethlehem. David and I went to high school together and played football at Liberty. David was a better basketball player. But uh, Chuck would come home once in a while to see the family, and I would be down there and meet him. And uh, as we got older, uh, I caddied for him at Saucon Valley Country Club for a lot. He never wanted to pay me with money, it was always clothing or something. <laughs> What kind of and golfer then, was he? He was a great golfer, good golfer. And I had to read the greens for him a lot because his eyesight was going. And then when he would miss the putt, he would holler at me that my eyesight, my eyesight is worse than his. <laughs> Chuck was a very intelligent man, a very humble man. He would do anything you wanted for him. And, and he would help you out if you were in need. And it was countless friends that he had from all over the world. And if you'd went in his house, he had a special room. He had a picture of himself cut out on a wall. There must have been 10,000 pictures of himself in his wall, in his office, where he would get mail daily and he would ask him for autographs, pictures, and that, which he would do. He would answer all his mail. And a deal between him and uh, Gifford, when Gifford married his wife, his wife didn't like Chuck. And she used to write him nasty letters. And I read some of them, and they were nasty. But in his heart, he he never belittled uh, Gifford's wife. He always talked nice about her. And he wished one day she would know the truth and and uh, you know become friends with him. And in the end, uh, Gifford and Chuck were were close friends. And when they played in golf tournaments together, celebrity golf tournaments, they used to team up as partners. And uh, he. He had Gifford down at Saucon Valley a few times, and uh, he was just an all-around, all-around great man.